Well, the month of June is recognized as Men's Mental Health Awareness Month. And look, I know today is July 2nd, but bringing awareness to mental health should not end at the end of the month. Now, I recently caught up with a fitness celebrity, life coach, author, and one of the world's premier lifestyle and wellness experts, Jason Roselle. How do you feel that you can kind of break that stigma of mental health when it comes to men? Yeah, and look, breaking the mental stigma when it comes to men, doesn't matter if it's June, July, any month of the year, and even women, the truth is you have to want to change. I repeat, you have to want to change. Stress is going to happen. Anxiety is going to happen. Depression is going to happen. Shoot, you may also have borderline personality disorder. You may also have childhood trauma that has never healed. See, what happens, Kevin, is as we get older, a lot of the things that we never healed from creeps up. It just happens. You can't tell why, what's causing it. But as soon as you feel it, you have to do something about it. What, what, what kind of words of uh, advice would you give to someone who's kind of on the fence about, you know, seeking help for their, for their mental health? Yeah. Well, number one, everybody is messed up in one way, shape, form, or another. Everyone is messed up. I have my own issues. You have your own issues. But if you feel it's overpowering and controlling your life, you're actually taking your power back because you're realizing that this is not you. Number two, forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for just being a human, right? Think of a water wave, right? The, all the water waves, there's going to be highs and lows, and that's normal. You can't expect every day to go awesome. And th that's when people find normality in life. It's when you accept that, oh, some days are going to be good. Some days are going to be off. If every day was awesome, Advil and Tylenol would be out of business. Every prescription drug would be out of business if you really think about it, right? Just do the math. It's okay. Number three, oh my God. Like literally celebrate your life every day. Celebrate it. I always say, and I learned this from Tony Robbins, change your physiology. If you're feeling kind of down, what do you do? Get up and start dancing. If you're more of a proactive person, go outside for a run, go on a bike ride, do the Macarena and get caliente, baby. Positivity is indeed infectious. And, and for the record, Jason, I wake up every day and do the moonwalk when I get out of bed. So 